back to Ken Landau, here's a question. If you take certain kind of vitamin and mineral supplements, can you prevent vision loss associated with a condition that we know as age-related macular degeneration, simply AMD? Well, first of all, you have to realize AMD is a very common condition. There are about 2 million people over age 50 who suffer from advanced AMD with vision loss right now and another 8 million people who have intermediate AMD with potential vision loss. Now, what's AMD? AMD is a condition that's associated with the back portion of the eye in the retina. It's called the macula. And when you look at the macula, it has a lot of photoreceptor cells. These are cells that are light sensing and transmit impulses directly to the brain and the macula has the highest density of these cells and it's essential for clear central vision, the vision that you need to drive a car or read or recognize your friends. Now, first thing is that age-related macular degeneration can be divided into two basic groups. The dry form affects about 90% of the people and it's less likely to progress or the wet form, where there are some new blood vessels that form in the back portion of the eye, neovascularization we call it, and it's more likely to progress. So they did a study, and the study is known as AREDS, in the follow-up study, AREDS-2. AREDS stands for Age-Related Eye Disease Study. It was done by the National Eye Institute, part of the NIH, and they looked at about 3,600 participants who began the study in 1992, and followed them for a variable period of time, five to ten years on average. And what they found was that a group could be divided into one group receiving antioxidants, another group receiving minerals, another group receiving both, another group receiving neither. In the antioxidant group, the people received vitamin C and vitamin E and beta carotene. In the mineral group, the people received zinc and copper. A third group received both, a fourth group received neither. What were the outcomes? Outcomes, very impressive. People who didn't have AMD couldn't prevent it by taking the supplements. Didn't matter whether they took the antioxidants or the minerals or both. People who had early AMD were not benefited. People who had intermediate or advanced AMD seemed to be able to slow the progression by taking either a combination of the antioxidants and the zinc, or the zinc itself. If they took the antioxidants, the vitamin C, vitamin E, and beta carotene didn't seem to make any difference. Now, it's important to realize that the difference, while statistically very impressive, when you look at the absolute numbers, much less impressive. So, the study showed that if you look at the people who had intermediate or advanced AMD, you might be able to reduce the relative risk of progression with the combination by about 34% and with the zinc by about 29%. That sounds very impressive, doesn't it? Well, that's relative number. What's the absolute risk reduction? So if you go from one cent to two cents, you've increased by 100%, you've doubled the amount of money you have. But what you really did is gain a penny. So what's the true number? Well, the true number, or the absolute risk reduction, if you take a combination of the antioxidants and the minerals, you reduce your likelihood of progression by about 6%. If you look at the group taking the zinc, that starts off with intermediate or advanced AMD, you reduce the likelihood of progression, not by 29%, but now the true number is 3.6%. So considerably less impressive. Well, if we look at the likelihood that if you take the vitamin and mineral supplements, you're going to be able to actually prevent vision loss, not just prevent the progression when you look in the back of the eye, but actually is it going to be able to do something beneficial for you? Well, it helps if you take the antioxidants in combination with the zinc. It helps a little bit in the preservation of the vision, prevents the rapid deterioration. But does it prevent deterioration at all? No, it just slows the rate of progression. So these vitamins and minerals aren't a panacea. What they can do is they can slow progression as long as you have at least 
intermediate disease. So for the majority of people, it doesn't seem to be helpful. Well, you have to realize that AMD is a genetic condition, at least in part. It's a genetic condition, especially among people of European descent. It's a genetic condition that's made worse by certain factors in your environment. For instance, if you happen to eat too much and you're fat, if you have cardiovascular disease, high blood pressure, if you're a cigarette smoker, or if you consume a diet high in fat content, you're at higher risk. So don't do that. Actually, in spite of those little tiny numbers I talked about if you take the vitamins and mineral supplement, well, you can have about a 70%, 70% reduction in the likelihood that you're going to develop the condition simply by changing some habits. So avoid cigarette smoking. Go get some exercise. If you go outside and the sun is shining, wear some sunglasses. And when you talk about your diet, cut down on the amount of fat and increase the amount of fruit and vegetables and nuts, and then you have a significant reduction in risk. Well, the study also, a second part of the study that was begun in 2006, looked at people who then took the AREDS vitamins, the vitamin-mineral combination that we talked about, and they modified it a little bit. They got rid of some of the beta-carotene or all of the beta-carotene because they found that beta-carotene would double the risk of developing lung cancer if you happen to be a cigarette smoker. That's why if you think back 10 years, everyone was talking about beta-carotene, beta-carotene, a wonder drug. Now you don't hear too much talk about it. Why? Well, because of the increase in lung cancer in former smokers who took the beta-carotene. So, Getting back to the story, they looked at people who would take omega-3. You hear so much talk about omega-3. Those are the polyunsaturated fatty acids that are so common in fish, especially salmon, the EPA and the DHA that everyone seems to think are wonder drugs, though they gave some of the people that, those drugs. They gave some of the people an alternative to beta-carotene. They gave them other kind of carotenoids, carotenoids that are found actually in the eye. Beta-carotene isn't in the eye, but the lutein and the zeaxanthin, other types of carotenoids, are in the eye. And they gave them one group or the other group, or they combined the group, gave them both the omega-3 and the carotenoids, or they gave them neither. And what did they find? Well, for the overwhelming majority of people, they found it didn't make any difference whether they gave them the omega-3 or not. It didn't seem to protect the eye. And they looked at the zeaxanthin and the lutein. And what they found was that only in those people who didn't consume adequate quantities of green leafy vegetables, those were the people who seemed to benefit. If you didn't consume the green leafy vegetables and you were really low, then you might get some benefit if you took the lutein and the zeaxanthin. Well, it's important to realize that we have another issue. And remember I said that there was significant genetics involved in the development of AMD? Well, as we get a little more sophisticated, people look at the type of genes, and now they divide the genes into several different groups. And what sometimes they find, what's been reported, is actually for some people with certain types of genetic components, well, if you're predisposed to the AMD because of your genes and you happen to have a bad combination, actually taking the zinc might make matters worse. So, back to the story. Are vitamin and mineral supplements able to prevent development of AMD, prevent the development of age-related macular degeneration? The answer is no. Are they able to prevent going from early disease to more advanced disease? Well, again, the answer is if you have early AMD, they're not going to prevent progression. On the other hand, if you have intermediate AMD or advanced AMD, a combination of vitamin C, vitamin E, and the minerals, the zinc and the copper, well, they might help a little. But remember, we also said that if you change your diet, if you avoid cigarette smoking, if you wear the sunglasses, if you have a lot of fruit and vegetables and nuts, and you cut down on the fatty foods, that seems to be even better. Thanks for watching. I'm Dr. Ken Landau. Thank you.